Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Crystal. Thank you so much for clicking on my video and joining me today. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I truly appreciate it. So first off today, we're going to do my grocery haul. I just got back from HEB and decided to film a video for you guys today. So today at HEB, it seems like I bought a lot, but I really don't think I did. I really just needed to get a lot of the staples that I need to use every week for dinner right here i have my mashed cauliflower as well as cauliflower rice we have this at least every other day during the week with most of our meals we've been trying to really cut back on eating a lot of carbs and rice and so cauliflower rice has really taken the place of regular rice we also stopped at Dollar Tree and while I was there I found these beech nut fruit pouches for my son. I bought two varieties of fruit pouches. Now at Dollar Tree of course everything is one dollar and if you buy these fruit um, pouches individually at Walmart HEB they are well over a dollar at least a dollar forty so I went ahead and I bought six from Dollar Tree. I also wanted to stock up a little bit on some pasta as well as cans of tomato paste and tomato sauce and then I also found capers I have come across a couple of res recipes that call for capers with the chicken so I'm glad that I found that and I definitely want to try a new recipe this week another way that we are cutting back on carbs is instead of cooking regular spaghetti I cook spaghetti squash in place of it I just use my instant pot and I cut the spaghetti squash in half and cook it in there and it takes the place of spaghetti perfectly since spaghetti squash does not have a flavor it takes on whatever flavor you put onto it the next thing I'm gonna pull out of the bag is ground turkey I have been trying to avoid cooking a lot of ground beef for dinner and cooking healthier meats like ground chicken or ground turkey Aside from stocking up on my canned tomato products, I also had to stock up on my canned corn and canned green beans. And I also picked up a new book at Dollar Tree. So the main reason why me and Jacob went out today was to go to Dollar Tree because I wanted to pick up these um, cabinet shelf organizers. I found these um, at Dollar Tree. I looked online before I went to make sure that they had them, but yeah, just a dollar for this. So I went ahead and I bought eight of them. My plan is to use these in the master bathroom as well as in my pantry, which I will show you in a minute. And um, yeah, so if you guys need these shelf organizers, definitely check out Dollar Tree. I had gone on Amazon this morning just to see how much they were, and the cheapest I could find for just one was $8.99. I think maybe like $8.50, $8.99, but that was just for one. And I bought all of these, obviously a dollar each, so $8 for eight of them is a heck of a, lot of a lot better deal than Amazon. So if you need these, go ahead and check out Dollar Tree. I know Dollar Tree is kind of hit or miss, but hopefully so you'll find here it. here is my pantry. I know it looks awful. It is just crammed with everything. Um, little tip, if you guys grab, if you guys buy these um, assortments of chips, I would suggest go ahead and get one of those strong 3M hooks and just put it on the back of the door to free up your shelf space. But anywho, yes, I definitely need to figure out a way to organize this pantry. I'm thinking about doing it right now because my little man, look at him right there, fast asleep. He did such a good job today. But we'll see what happens. I have some cleaning that I need to do, but we will see if I get to this pantry. So for lunch today, I just went ahead and picked up this pre-made buffalo chicken wrap from H-E-B. I'm going to go ahead and eat this while I do some cleaning. Mm -hmm. 
So while I'm doing the dishes, I just wanted to take a minute and once again say thank you so much for clicking on this video and joining me today. If you guys are not already subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification so you guys will be alerted every time I upload a new video, which is at least three times a week. I would love to have you join my channel and of course, always leave a comment. I love answering comments and getting to know all my subscribers and my viewers. And just a little random thing to note, I never realized until watching back my videos how much Oreo follows me around and is constantly my little shadow. I think it is so cute to see her just sit and wait for me to come back into a room when I leave to go put something away. She really is my little shadow and I love her so much. So another thing I wanted to show you guys was last week I went to the at-home store and I bought all new kitchen utensils and I really, really like them. They are from the Studio Cuisine line. They are heat resistant up to 450. Like some are 450, some are 400, but I really like the bamboo handles on all of them and I love this gray silicone material. So I bought an assortment of what I needed as well as the kitchen shears and these have magnets on the back so if you wanted to hang it up somewhere you could but yeah I just want to show you guys these I really really like them and they were really affordable um, I think everything ranged between $3.99 and $7.99 so I definitely want to go back and get a couple more things I know I want to get the um, the can opener as well as there was one other thing that I wanted to get but definitely the can opener but if you guys are interested in new utensils definitely check out the at home store for those or maybe Amazon will have them as well now I'm gonna go ahead and open up the chicken thighs and chicken breast from the plastic I'm gonna go ahead and bag them into Ziploc bags I'm gonna go ahead and put two each into each Ziploc bag so that I don't have to cook the whole thing and have anything waste and I don't know about you guys if you guys have to do this as well but I absolutely hate the way it feels um, I know you can't see my face right now but every time I have to pick up a piece of meat I am cringing Now I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands. I already have my method cleaner out as well as a hand towel. I'm going to go ahead and clean off the countertops as well as the stove and make sure I disinfect everything that I touched with those icky chicken hands. And if you guys saw my Instagram story on Instagram, you will know that I purchased these hand towels a few days ago. I got them from Ross and they were only $4.99 for the both of them. Another thing that I wanted to show you guys is I have this blue carabiner. I believe that's what it's called. Um, I bought this from the child section at Ross. I believe it was meant to hang on strollers so you guys can hang your purse on there or whatever you need to hang. But I use it to carry in groceries. Normally I try and do my grocery shopping when my husband is with me so that he will be the one to carry in all the bags. But if you have to do it on your own and you don't want to make 10,000 trips to the car, I suggest finding one of these because I'm able to hang at least five or six bags onto them. So I only have to make maybe two trips to the car each time.
wanted to go ahead and show you guys another new home decor piece that I bought. I bought this off of Amazon and I got it for $32.99 and as you can see it says home but what I loved about this was that the O and home is, inter is interchangeable with um, a piece that is that coordinates with the holidays of the year. So I'll go ahead and show you all that they have. They have a turkey for Thanksgiving and these are really thick. That's a good one inch thick and they're very nicely painted and they're very sturdy. So we got a turkey. There's a couple spring ones. We have a flower and I like that it kind of looks like an egg. We also have for Christmas, this is my favorite, for Christmas we have a little snowman and his nose kind of springs and oops don't get that kind of his nose kind of springs and it matches the decor that I got from Dollar Tree a couple years ago that I still use and I'm definitely going to be keeping all of the bubble wrap that everything came in because I don't want any of these to get damaged for just plain winter season we have a snowflake for winter snowflake and I like all the detail in the snowflake. It's very cute. There's also an Easter bunny. I love the little polka dot bow. For um, St. Patrick's Day, got a little shamrock. Halloween, my birthday. I was born on Halloween. So this is really cute little jack-o'-lantern. A star for the 4th of July. I wish there was a star right here. I kind of feel like there's one missing, but it's very cute. And the last one is for Valentine's Day. A very cute heart. And this centerpiece is um, off a little bit. Oops. So it kind of springs. But yes, I will try to link this down below if you guys are interested in looking into buying this for your home. Like I said, I got it for $32.99, but it kind of varied. Um, it ranged from $39.99 to a little bit higher. So if you like it, just kind of keep an eye out for it to see if the price drops. At this time, I noticed that Jacob was starting to wake up. So I'm going to go ahead and make his bottle before I go bring him downstairs. So I just finished feeding Jacob and you will see him in the background in just a second in his pack and play. But I wanted to go ahead and start a little bit of my dinner cooking. I'm going to go ahead and use this acetylene salad for our pasta salad tonight. Tonight I just want to make something super simple. We're going to have burgers and this as a side dish. So I'm going to start making this right now so that I can put it in the refrigerator for at least two hours so it's nice and cold for dinner.
And last but not least, I decided to go ahead and tackle the pantry. I'm going to start by removing as much as I can at a time and start trying to figure out where I want to put the cabinet shelf organizers as well as cleaning off the shelves. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you my pantry all finished. I'm going to go ahead and start on the bottom and work my way up. This shelf right here is all spaghetti and pasta and I'm trying not to cook with that a lot. But this basket right here I do use often. This holds all of my aluminum foil, cleaning rag, and Ziploc bags. This shelf right above it is another shelf that I do not use often. I do make sandwiches for my husband on a daily basis, but other than that, I just use the beef and chicken broth for cooking, and my drink mix is right here. On this shelf, I have my tomato products, my canned vegetables over here. Now, I did have to put these pastry crisps up here, but I do not like this right here because if you look behind, that is where I keep all of Jacob's food. So I do want to buy a new storage container to put these in so that they take up less space. But for now, they're going to sit right here until I get to Dollar Tree in a couple of days. And the biggest change is this top shelf. This is where I keep all of my cooking supplies. Now, I do want to buy a new container to store my cereal to help keep it fresh longer. And I am missing one container. Um, it fell off of the shelf a couple days ago and the lid cracked. So I do need to go to Dollar Tree and buy a new one. But I'm also considering just buying a whole new set. I do love the way the top shelf came out. Everything is visible and well organized. And that is it for this video, guys. If you guys are not already subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys back in a couple of days in a new video. Bye!